Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage. Thanks for joining me here today. I'm going to make some bamboo table mats. Now this is a really nice DIY to do. It's coming up to Christmas so you can make them as a Christmas gift or just make them as placemats to have on Christmas Day. <laughs> Whatever way you use it, it's going to be really pretty and it's really nice to use some bamboo. My neighbour had loads left over so they were going spare. I will tell you exactly what you need for this. So let's get right into the video. For this DIY, you're going to need some bamboo sticks. If you can't get them from your garden, then you can get them in a garden shop. You're also going to need some natural twine and a garden secateurs. And the first thing then you're going to do with them is you need to cut them to size. Now you see where the groove is on the bamboo? That's usually the easiest spot to cut, especially if you're just using a garden shears. Cut the bamboo and then you can measure a mat that you have in your house with how big then you want the size. You'll probably need about 22 to 24 per mat. You'll then need two long bamboo sticks. These are going to be the base underneath that you're going to tie the mat to. So try and make sure that these are straight so that your mats are straight. But we're working with nature here, so it doesn't matter. A little bit of oddness is always good. You're going to start off with a constrictor knot. This is what it looks like. It looks a bit complicated, but if you follow the lines through, it actually is quite simple. And you'll know because when you pull it taut, it will be really, really tight. Get your string and the length of your bamboo stick, your base stick, make it about seven times the length of the stick. You want quite a little bit left over. You're going to wrap it around. and then through and then you're going to tuck it in and then pull it tight you should have a nice dangly bit left over don't worry what you're going to do then is once you've pulled it taut you're going to wrap it around the string that you've already have ready to go Get your first bamboo stick and place it perpendicular to your base stick. Put the string over the bamboo like so and then pull it under and through to the outside and then pop it over the stick and then pull the string tight. Place your next bamboo there over the top of the bamboo, under the bottom of the base, through and pop it on. Keep going like so all the way along. Make sure that you pull the string really, really tight and make sure that each little thing is pulled in close to one another. The strings need to be really, really close and tight. When you get to the end, we're going to do another constrictor knot. So you're going to wrap it around once and then again and then through and then through the front one. and then pull it really super tight. You can do another knot here if you like. On we go to the next side. It's the same, it's just a little bit trickier because you've got the bamboo quite tight close together. So do your constrictor knot over the bamboo on the inside, under onto the outside and pop it over the bamboo 
and then when you get to the end you're going to do another constrictor knot you can do another knot here if you like if you've got enough string left you can tie it together on the inside There you have it, that's exactly one mat done. If you turn it over, you'll see on the other side, the string is really neat and it's really tight. There you have it, some bamboo placemats. It's so nice to have something that you made from nature. The main thing I found with the mats is you need to make sure that the string is super, super tight. That really is the main thing. If not, it's gonna get loose and wibbly and you don't want that. So really pull the string taut throughout the whole mat. So that is it for this week. Thank you for watching and I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up and let me know down below if you make it or if there's any other DIY gifts that you want me to make or that you make yourself. I'm always open and love to hear other ideas. And until next week, thanks for watching and I'll see you then. Bye.